I was pretty sure that I had made this video before, but I couldn't find it. And I had a lesson just yesterday, and we were talking about it, so I want to put this up here. So today we are talking about how to know all of your uh, keys and your key signatures, so how many sharps there and flats there are in each key signature. Um, to learn this, um, I want to show you the circle of fourths and fifths. Um, so we'll just start with C. I know we've talked a lot about C major scale. Um, hopefully you know that, oops, that C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C, has no sharps and no flats in it, right? So no sharps and no flats in the key of C. This next one, we're going to go the fourth note of C, C, one, two, three, four, fourth note of C is F. Okay, F. If we wrote out F major scale, uh, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, and F. Right? How many flats are there? One. B flat. What's the number? One, two, three, four. Our fourth note of F major scale is B flat. Right there. So we're just moving in fourths. If you were to write out B flat major scale, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. Fourth note of B flat major scale is E flat, one, two, three, and four. So E flat, the fourth note of B flat major scale, E flat, bam. Oh, I got ahead of myself. How many flat, we talked about this, how many flats there are, are there in F? One, one flat. B flat, how many flats are there? There are two. Two flats. If we're, you see where we're going with this now. So uh, E flat major scale, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. How many flats are there? E flat, A flat, and B flat. So three. We have E flat up here twice. So you can't count that, right? So there are three flats in E flat. All right, et cetera, et cetera. I want to finish the wheel for you. E flat, next one is A flat, right? There's the fourth note of E flat. Is A flat. It's got four flats in it. D flat. Um, I might be getting off the screen here. D flat, we'll put here five flats. Uh, G flat or F sharp has six flats. Then we go over here. B has, can you guess how many sharps there are in the key of B? That's right, there are five. <laughs> I hope you got it. Uh, we're going the, uh, the other way to, right here. So uh, the next one, um, E has four sharps. A has three sharps. D has two sharps, and G has one sharp. Okay. So, this wheel was first shown to me um, when I was, I think, going into about eighth grade, and my teacher said, uh, don't come back until you've got this memorized. And I was walking to his house and realized that I had forgotten to do the work, um, which was rare, but it did happen. <laughs> and uh, so I looked at it, I was really nervous, and I figured out a, kind of a silly way of remembering this wheel. So all I did was, I remembered that we start with C, you know, that's an easy one, and uh, the fourth note of C, I just remembered C and F, right? And then B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat spells the word bead. So you got a bead, and then you've got a G flat in the middle, and then you've got, look what you got over here. You got another bead. <laughs> and then you've got a G here. So C and F, so in my mind I'm going C, F, bead, G, bead, G. C. Of course, you have to make sure that you say 
B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and you have to say, you know, the um, the actual flat, so you know what key you're in, right? So you make sure it's right. So C, F, B, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and then B, B, E, A, D, G, C. You got the G's right in the middle of the beads. <laughs> it was my little silly way of remembering it, but all of my students, um, I teach that to all of my students, and then I just usually say, okay, uh, and now I'll erase it. Erase all this stuff. Um, when I'm teaching saxophone lessons, I want, I really want to emphasize how important it is to know what key you're playing in. So, I usually write this out for my students, and then, okay, you know, how many flats are in the key of B flat? You know, if you said two, you'd be right. So think about that, you know, and how many flats. So when you see, when you go back to your key signatures, and you see, um, you know, something with two, fl two flats, B flat and E flat, you know, what key are you in? You know, you should know. Think about that wheel, or it, say you've got uh, say you've got a key signature and you've got uh, three three sharps, C sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. You know what key are you in? You know, think about that for a second. Um, so now the wheel has a lot of other properties too, um, and it's really really important. Um, and we'll get to that in some of the later videos, but I want to just share this one with you first. And so please um, feel free to email me with questions or uh, comments. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.